Hi there. Now this video I'm going to cover approaching and emerging left and right at T-junctions, uh, covering the recap and objectives part of that PST. So in the last video I looked at the uh, recap and objectives that you might do for approaching and turning left and right major to minor, and in this one we're going to look at T-junctions. You'll see the difference and the more detail that you can go into with the MSPSL recap. So I would recap, first of all, uh, the routine that they've dealt with for uh, turning left and right. Usually, if you're going to teach T-junctions, they will have covered turning left and right before, but always ask, have you covered it? If they have, then you can ask what routine they, they were using for turning left and right. And hopefully they'll tell you MSPSL. Now, MSPSL only gives you uh, five letters. It doesn't tell you that they understand what that means um, and what the letters stand for. So investigate that in more depth. If you got the answer MSPSL, then you could ask what do those letters stand for, and they'll say, hopefully, mirror signal, position, speed, look. But listen carefully, because they, they can get the uh, words in the wrong order. They might say mirror speed, position, signal, look, or any other combination. If you're not listening, you won't hear that, and so therefore you won't be able to fix that fault. So listen carefully to the answer. If they give you the answer correctly, you can give praise, but then you need to go deeper still. So you would ask them if you were going to turn left which mirrors would you check why do we check the mirrors what order do we check them in and why uh, and then you will move on to the signal uh, which signal would we give when would we give it how do you decide on the timing of your signal and why is that important and then position where would you position uh, again how do you judge that and why why is it important to, to be in that position and then speed what speed and what gear ask about coasting ask about looking, where would they look and what are they looking for. So you're covering all aspects of MSPSL within that recap. That way you're going to find out if the knowledge is there and also the understanding uh, of why they're doing these things, not just that they know they should go through that process, but they can tell you the reason why they need to do it in that order. So once you've established that for left, you can then do the same kind of thing for right. You could ask which mirrors and why, and when would you time the signal, where would you position, and why we're going to position there. Uh, you could ask about crossing traffic, and you can ask about point of turn references, anything that relates to what they've done for turning uh, left and right before. So therefore, you know they've got a good knowledge, good understanding of the MSPSL routine, and then you can move it on to the new subject of T-junctions uh, and link in whatever you can from that routine. So most of that is the same, the mirror, the signal, the position. It's just the speed and the look. Um, some of the references, like the giveaway, you're going to have a different reference point to uh, find out where the giveaway line is than you had when they were turning right for uh, reference in the centre of the road. So the reference points are new. So there are certain new bits, but the majority of that routine is going to be the same, the mirrors and the signal and the position. So once you've established the pre-knowledge, you would give them praise and say, well done, it's really good that you've remembered that, because today I'm going to move it on and teach you T-junctions. So you'll be using all that routine, but just doing slightly different things. I'll explain it to you first, and then show you a diagram, and hopefully um, you'll understand that in theory, so then we can practice it, and by the end of the lesson, you should be dealing with T-junctions with less help from me. So that's a basic structure of how you can do the recap and the objectives for emerging at T-junctions. Hope that's helped. See you next time.